Ron Fuller here from the Cabaret Mechanical Theatre in Covent Garden. Hello, Ron. Hello. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Now, Ron is a craftsman of mechanical toys, and uh, some of which you can see on the table in front of me here. But before we talk further, let's have a look at a film we made when Fun Must went on a brief visit to the Cabaret Mechanical Theatre in London. Ron, my appetite, uh, my appetite is completely whetted by that film. I love the sheep with the cutting the man's head yes. off. Now, I'm definitely going to go. Can you tell me exactly what is at the Cabaret Mechanical Theatre? Well, it's, um, it's an exhibition of uh, about 50 automata made by English automata makers. And you go into the exhibition and each one works in a separate little display case. And there's a button underneath which you press to make them work. Good, so you can actually take a very active part oh, yes, in it. You, yes. can make, you can make it all happen. So yeah, even young children have a great time there. Well, it's they? fun for all ages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to press the buttons. Uh, did you get involved in mechanical toys when you were very young? Well, I've always been interested in uh, toys and mechanics. And um, I really started making toys as a living, or these automata, um, when I made them for my own children. Uh -huh. And then, of course, other people saw them, and it took off from there. Well, can we just have a quick look at this one? I love this one. Um, what what well, is that? Run us to make that one go. Right. So what, <laughs> yeah, this do? is a toy that's worked by sand. This is a very traditional toy. It was first made over 100 years ago. Uh -huh. And you wind it up like an egg timer. Yeah. There, that puts the sand at the top of the box inside. And then the sand falls onto a paddle wheel, which is connected to a crank and that makes the little lady go up and down. Dancing. And because her feet just touch the stage, it looks as though she's dancing. Yeah, that's great, that one. <laughs> she's jolly energetic. Have you got a favourite? Yes, this is the one I absolutely love here. This is, this is the dog, and it's a bit like the sheep shearer. Well, it's what? supposed to be a lion, actually. Oh, it's supposed a to lion. be a lion. Beg your pardon. Watch this. <laughs> I just miss it. <laughs> yeah, that's a circus toy. Yeah. That's great, that one. Very right, quickly, there's one I like here, too. Um, is this is some dancing ladies on the stage, is it? That's oh, that's good. Ladies. Can dan 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 this is called the Aquatic Taxi Driver. This is uh, um, somebody who was in the Navy who now runs a taxi service, and that's why he's in a tin bath. Can you, and can you actually turn him around the other way and operate him with your other hand, just so we can see a bit more of his... Yes, he's rowing there himself he across the river, <laughs> you see, in the tin bath. <laughs> is there a, you said there's a cat or something on it, fishing. Is oh, that? yes, he's very... That they, uh, the aquatic taxi driver, he's very fond of cats, so he's got his cat in the back who's catching a fish or trying to. Oh, that's right, with a fishing line. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver's mesmerised by that. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Like you can stop now. You can unwind. Where did you get the idea for that, Ron? 
Well, this I did this for a neighbour of mine. His wife ordered it for him for his. Uh, I think it was his 50th birthday, and uh -huh. he is a naval, he wasn't a naval man, and he is a taxi driver. Oh, so it's actually based on real we life. We live on then. a river, you see, so yeah. the whole thing came together because of those, uh, right. those things. <laughs> you often get your ideas from real life, and that's well, quite interesting. Well, I mean, if, if some, a, lot of, a lot of times people want you to make a special thing for them, so they sure, tell you yes. what they're interested in, yeah. and that's, you, you make it around that theme, mm. you see. Right, well, without any more ado, shall we put the circus into action? Laura's going to be, she's uh, got the money. And this is a slot this machine. This is a slot so machine. Put a, put a, coin a coin in. in. And there it goes. Oh, look at that. Beef Stuart, there's so much activity, isn't there? Yes, there is. It sort of takes a while to look at it. I think, Laura, you were going to ask something, weren't you, about this? How long did it take you to make that? Uh, this takes about uh, 300 hours to make. 300 hours? 300 hours. Gosh. So how many, you wouldn't do that all in one go, or would you? Do it day in, day out? Well, I, I, I did make one of them in about five weeks. So that meant working around the clock virtually. Yeah. <laughs> and you were going to ask something too, weren't you? Yeah, why did you decide to make a circus? Well, uh, I'm very interested in, in circus acts, and they, they lend themselves to be made into toys and things, you see? Because there's always... Uh, they're colourful, aren't they? That's right, yeah, and they're always doing strange acrobatic things, so it's very easy to fill the movements in like that, you see. But in, in this whole act, you see, it was nice to put 11 different acts all working together so that uh, it did look like a, a really big circus. Yeah. Well, I don't know if anyone can see, but there's, there's a tightrope <coughs> walker towards the top of this model here. So my legs going 19 to the dozen there. Oh, oh she would put more do. money in. Oh, it's a 10 one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> my legs really going 19 to the dozen that she sort of goes across that wire there. That's great, that bit. Great, she's got fishnet tights on, yes. too. <laughs> That's actually a slack wire act. You see how slack the wire is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's tightrope walkers and slack wire act. Ah, right. right. Two very different things, you see. You right. stand corrected, I do, you? yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what else have we got here? I like to see. At the see front, them. you see there's a, a sort of a weight lifter. Lifting up a giant pair of dumbbells. Why has the weightlifter got a bun? Uh, <laughs> the Chinese that's, weightlifter. Uh, a piece of added decoration, really. Oh, I see. It's a lady weightlifter. Oh. Lady weightlifter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. No sexism on this show, yeah. Yeah, I, I try to have uh, the same number as men as ladies, you see. All oh, right. right. But I think my favourite is, is again, is the. Uh, now, are these animals. That's lions. They the lion. might. Yeah, they look a bit like dogs, but they're meant to be lions. <laughs> I made that mistake before. Yeah. Well, you uh, see, he uh, he doesn't work all the time. He uh, takes his hat off. Right, but he's going now. Puts he's his head in off. the lion's mouth, you see. And then he gives a little bow uh -huh. and then stops. And then he has a rest. Yeah. For a while. I thought it was more interesting to have him just working occasionally. Is it amazingly complicated to work out the mechanics, of which, which we can't see, but are underneath there, to make yeah. everything work? It's all right. I think altogether. we'll just give it a little rest. It takes. Me? longer to work the mechanics out to make the real thing. Really? To make the things on top. Mm -hmm. But very briefly, our little bird told me that at the Cabaret Mechanical Museum, um, you have somebody that takes the tickets, but you're actually working on a mechanical man who will stamp the tickets as you go in. Is that true? That's what I'm working on at the moment. That'll be a new feature of the theatre. Gosh. I think that'd be thrilling, yeah. and I think if anybody's ever in London, I think this is a museum certainly not to be lit. Absolutely, missed I'm in London's Covent Garden. It's the Cabaret Mechanical Theatre in London.